Tony, just what did you see go wrong there for Redmond uh, in the top of the ninth? Uh, you know, I mean, if you look back at the at-bat, LaRue stayed to the ball and, and hit it up the middle. If it's got a little more height to it, our, our center fielder catches it. Um, but the guy did a good job, and he kind of set the table there. But that's what you want in that inning is to throw strikes, and that's what he did. And then fast forward, you're, you're kind of right where you want to be. Um, obviously, you'd prefer no one's on base, but it ain't a perfect world, and it's a good team we're playing in. Um, so then the guy gets them, and, you know, from there you could argue you put an extra – you know, base runner on, and obviously he doesn't get the job done, but I don't think you can pick apart the outing and say he's, he was off or he was rattled or anything like that. It just, you know, it, it really didn't go well um, against Howell, who's a good athlete and a good player. And then after that, it's just the nature of being put on the spot or being put in the fire. It's kind of what I told Mabes when he got out there. I mean, he's got to come in and, and face a guy 1-0. He's already down in the count, but those are our guys that we trust when the, when the fire's hot, and that ain't going to change. What kind of escalated that situation there after they had the go ahead home run? Well, the bat ended up in our dugout. Or if it was a true dugout, it would have went in the dugout, but instead it was resting on the net. So, I mean, someone's got to get it. And uh, so I grabbed it and threw it over there. And, you know, a lot of extra stuff happened after that, you know, from our side and their side that maybe didn't need to happen. But everybody's trying to win. It's the SEC. How do you all bottle that emotion up in, in the right way tomorrow? Well, I think the, the game's a little bit of ways away. Um, and, you know, there's words being exchanged and stuff like that. But this ain't boxing. Uh, it's baseball. So I, I think our guys need to do whatever they got to do tonight, whether they got family here or whatever, get some grub and, and rest up. And then tomorrow you can start preparing the way that you would for any Sunday because um, it's always important on Sunday in our league or really any conference. And then we'll play ball at 1 o'clock. You guys are pretty good in the last rubber match you had. Do you feel like? they have a recipe for that at this point? With the yeah, I mean, I, I think it's always nice to do something. I, I'm broken record to you guys just because it's the first time you do something doesn't mean you can't do it well. But I, I think we've been in a similar situation and, and the guys did respond well. Um, you know, by now it's deep into the year and I know we've kind of had some quirky things happen. But again, by now I think our guys have kind of seen what everything looks like. Uh, so nothing should come as a surprise to them. That should allow them to find their own individual comfort zone. and you know, rally up as a group tomorrow. That's that's our strength. I mean, there's some exciting guys in there that Cortland had a great night tonight or, you know, Jordan Beck's obviously an explosive player, could go up and down the list. But it, it's a group that plays very well together, and uh, that, that's what's gotten us to the point we are right now where we can say we've had some success. You mentioned Cortland. It seems like he's hitting the ball hard all weekend. What's going well for him right now? He wants to win. Same, same thing as I said before, and I, I don't mean to oversimplify it, but if you've ever been around the guy, he's got a winning track record. And, he, you know, I, I've kind of ad nauseum brought up Max and Liam. He's the same as those guys, and that's why they're friends and they live together and all that stuff. He wants to win. So you can break down like skill set, but he's in the SEC. So obviously all these guys, or most of them, um, we'll come back to that. Most of the guys on both rosters uh, are SEC guys. Um, you know, so he's got the skill set, but the want to, if you want to just label it that, is, is pretty dang good out of he and his mates, but he's playing short and he's a leader, so he's kind of got a little extra if we could say that. Anything you all see from your vantage point is why Blade couldn't find the strike zone today? I mean, sometimes it's easier when you're watching the video, you're not emotionally involved and you have different angles, but um, Blade's always going to be intense, but he didn't kind of seem to have the attack that he had uh, against Florida. To me, Unfortunately, watching on a laptop against Florida, it looked like he was told, you only get 50 pitches no matter what today. Obviously, he had more than that, but again, so do what you can with him. And if, if that makes sense, that's kind of how he pitched. And tonight wasn't the case, maybe because it's, you know, whatever setting. And of course, again, again a good opponent, but um, steering things off to his glove side was the physical part. But, but he didn't have uh, the tenaciousness that he had down in Gainesville. A couple more. Top of the ninth didn't go according to plan, but do you take something positive away from the bottom of the ninth, just the guys being down by three and still fighting? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're past the point of moral victories, but I think the fact we're in a position to win the game, and um, I don't think if either coaching staff had a boardroom meeting tomorrow on this game tonight, I don't think either team can say they played well, but it was kind of a muck and grind game, and, and uh, we didn't do it as well as they did or as well as we needed to, but it certainly was there for all nine innings as proven by Cortland's at bat. And then, hey, who doesn't want to be, whether you're a ball fan or you're a ball coach, um, you know, guy on base and Jordan Beck and Drew Gilbert get a crack at it. 
Um, not expecting those guys to hit home runs, but certainly to keep the ball rolling, and then Trey Lipscomb's behind them. So, again, in the ninth, we were in the position we wanted to be defensively and offensively. It'd be nice if the game was tied, uh, but we were kind of in the position we wanted to be there. We just didn't execute it. Um, but, again, with our skill set and our group mentality, the way these guys are together, if we're in those positions often, I, I love our chances. So you talked about kind of being a little bit of a muck and grind game. Did some of the – Maybe early command issues make it that way. It just seemed like there was just not much of a flow. Yeah, there's a – yeah, yeah. sorry to cut you off. There, there's a rhythm to the game, um, you know, and, and tonight's was, um, you, you know, just kind of strange. I know a lot of people call last night strange, but tonight there was, you know, really no kind of flow to the early innings, and then it was choppy near the end too. So, um, you know, like I said, by now we've kind of seen what every game looks like, and the goal is at the end just have one more than the other team. So you don't have to, you know, blow somebody out. It's not a slam dunk contest. You know, some other things were set out there. You got to show up tomorrow and play ball. And I like watching our guys when they are true to themselves and the best version of themselves. And obviously results fluctuate with that. If we got a bunch of guys that come out of the bullpen, our starter, our position guys that are just themselves, then it's fun to be around. And it's also a very successful formula. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, 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 Than